Thank you very much, Janice. We're going to transition now. We're talking about your money. You know, everybody wants to retire someday, but no matter where you are in your stage of life, you got to make sure you're on track. Stuart Welch from the Wealth Group joins us to help you out with that. Good to see you this morning. Good morning, Mike. Um, so let's start with that. Okay, let's say like millennials, what, what, what should they be knowing right now? Well, I think the first thing is they need to start out and know that they need to be saving 10% of their gross income. 10%. So that's the first thing. Okay. And out of every paycheck, they need to do that and make sure they're putting it in, in some kind of retirement plan, hopefully a company retirement plan where they're getting some matching. Maybe. Okay. And uh, the second thing is, is they need to be investing predominantly in stocks. So they got a really long period of time. Historically, stocks earn about twice what fixed income bonds, uh, CDs, and so forth earn. Okay. So they'll need to be stock centric. They'll need to be uh, willing to do that. Okay. So then, how does that equation change the older you get, the next stage in life? Well, I think that uh, the main thing is, is you want to be consistent in your investing. Okay. So 10% is the minimum. So if you haven't gotten started and you're 30, mm -hmm. by 30 you need to have three times your salary you need to have in your retirement account. Okay. So that's the first thing. That's at age th 30 well, at or age, 40. I'm sorry, at age 30, you need to have one time. So one if you make 50,000, you need to have 50,000 saved up. If you're 40, it's three times, 56 times, and if you get to 60, it's nine times your salary. So if you look at the, if you take a stop, mm -hmm. Look at what your salary is, how old you are, and use this as a measuring stick. And if you're way off, you know you need to get busy. So if busy. you got started late and you're that age, that's what you want to take out of your salary to make sure you got enough for retirement. So you need to be okay. you, you need to be investing again a percentage of that. And so uh, if you're behind, you need to start catching up. You right. need to think of ways to do that. You need to start saving more money. You need to cut, figure out how you're going to cut expenses. All right. So the, once you're once you're in that mode, okay, now you you're you're kind of getting close to that retirement retirement age. What about some some strategies then to, to know that you'll be okay? What's the number to know that you're okay? Again, you want to measure where you are. So if you're at, like at 60, you need to be at nine times. If you're way off that number, you've got to be take pretty drastic action. Again, you're going to want to be more oriented towards stocks. Okay. And as you get to that 60, if you're retiring at say 67, you know that you've got about seven years. You Now you're going to begin to introduce bonds into your portfolio, begin to become more conservative. Okay, now some people may say, well, you know, I, you know, barring anything catastrophic happening, I'm, I'm doing a little bit, I'm having some money taken out. Is that where expertise may come into play, where somebody might be able to help you get on track? Well, again, use this as a measuring stick. If you're way off and you don't know what to do, you need to get professional help. So find a certified financial planner, somebody, a CPA, somebody professional that can help get you on track. Okay. Look at your expenses, figure out some strategies to get you back on track. So, it's really important. So somebody who's done this, have you seen examples of this? And uh, somebody who maybe also who started early and you know where they ended up after a certain number of years? Yeah, we, we ran one uh, with a hypothetical, actually. Mm -hmm. A 22 year old starting out at 10% earning 50,000, salary rising 3% a year. If they stayed on track, they ended up with about $2.3 million, which was 12 times, now that's when they retired, 12 times. And that combined with Social Security was enough to maintain lifestyle. Okay, now that's assuming we're gonna have Social Security for some of us when we get it there, right? Is. So they wanna track that pretty closely. <laughs> they wanna track that very closely. All right, well good info today, So, but I know some people are gonna be asking, so you're telling me if I'm behind and I'm 60, I need to take out nine times my salary. I know yes. there's somebody asking that question right yes. now. Yes, yeah. nine times, whatever your salary is times nine, if Ooh. you're not there, you're way behind and okay. you're gonna to have to have some pretty some pretty uh, right. dr dramatic uh, changes. Those there. are the numbers right there. Read them in wheat. All right, thank you very much. Stuart Welch, appreciate it. Thanks.